He had nothing to do with it. Can't you understand that? He didn't do anything. It doesn't matter. They're all alike. Whoever did the actual kidnapping, it, it's a fucking technicality. Yeah, go ahead. Look that up in the Constitution. Max, shut up. Right, he's not guilty. But he's responsible, man. Come on. But let me tell you something, man. The best soap in the world will wash the scum off this guy's hands. I promise. Let me enlighten you, Avery, about your new friend here, Charlie, about what he's really like. You want to tell him about the dogs, or should I? No, oh, you're doing good. Jump in any time. About a year ago, Charlie had a house in Jersey. He moves in, next door neighbors have dogs. I don't know how many. Two dogs? They're barking all night long. Charlie goes over, the nice guy that he is, asks them to keep the noise down. Next night after that, same fucking dogs. Bark, 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 all fucking night long. Next night after that, and the next night after that. Until one night, nothing, man. Silence. No more noise. The cops got there about a week later. They found the dogs. Dogs were fine, happier than pigs and shit, munching on top sirloin. The neighbors, Avery, the neighbors, they never fucking found. Okay? God. How am I doing, Charlie? Is that about right? Almost. Brett, that was a rumor. He's not involved with the mob anymore. Oh, give me a fucking break. How do you think he was able to find your sister with one phone call? One call. Coincidence? Come on. Your friend is right. It's not a coincidence. I was able to contact the right people that we counted on. And it's a good thing for you that I am who I am and I do what I do and I know who I know. Otherwise, your princess would be chopped up and in the blender by now. I'll tell you something else. Even after what you did to me, I kept my part of the bargain. No more. What do you think you're dealing with? Guess again. You want to know what else I could do with one phone call? How about I have your ass made into mincemeat? I'll tell you what, in fact, happened with my neighbors. It's got nothing to do with barking dogs. That family, way back, did something Vicious to mine. Everything your pal Brett said is true, except he left out one detail. Those dogs, it was not steak they were eating. <laughs>